At the Sommer and Glenn Senior Living Community in Centennial, Colorado, residents received their first dose of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. For them, it's not a moment too soon. They are asking a lot of questions. They're eager to get in line. They are thrilled to hopefully get their lives back to normal. Along with frontline health care workers, these folks are considered most at risk of contracting and or dying from the disease, which places them in phase 1A of vaccine distribution all across the country. We have to have a tier system. Otherwise, how else, you know, there has to be some sort of organization and it's going to be chaotic. All right. Constructing an equitable system and determining in what order people should get the vaccine has sparked some debate, which often boils down to who deserves this rather than where can it do the most good. Which, says Dr. Matthew Winnie of the University of Colorado, means balancing the most high risk folks and those who are most responsible for transmission like prisoners. People who are uh, in circumstances where they can't help but spread it to a whole bunch of other people because you could then avoid these super spreader events. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have issued elaborate vaccine priority guidelines, but states are free to come up with their own rules, and a number of them have done just that. According to a Kaiser Family Foundation report, 10 states added police and fire personnel to their phase one group. Three added psychiatric patients and one added child care personnel. Sophisticated modeling has been done to study who should be prioritized. So we find that, that overall the best approach based on what we know now is to directly protect those people who are most vulnerable. In this case, the elderly. Last week, the U.S. government advised states to begin vaccinating all those 65 and older. Expanding eligibility to all of the vulnerable is the fastest way to protect the vulnerable. It's simply much easier to manage allocating vaccines and appointments to everyone 65 and over rather than narrower, more complex categories. I'm in a very high-risk group. I'm African-American and I'm 66 years old. So it's very important that people in that age group who can get vaccinated, get vaccinated when their turn comes up. Colorado now limits vaccines to residents 70 and older, but says it will look at dropping the age to 65. Vaccine priorities remain fluid. And so there may yet be further movement um, as we continue these conversations and as people just as we learn a little more about the vaccine. But it appears Uber drivers, barbers, and morticians who've all lobbied states to move up the list will have to wait a little bit longer. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.